first comes love, then comes marriage. What if marriage comes and then love? And Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denagio and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're talking about the book, Love Marriage. This book was written by Monica Lee. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. So let's just jump right in. I have a favorite quote of the book and that quote is towards the end and it says, perhaps he was afraid that the rungs he climbed were slippery. So this book is about a doctor. <laughs> she is training to become a full on doctor at the time. She's like an intern. She's dating a doctor as well. Her father's a doctor. So you got multiple stacks and levels of doctors. And so the woman who's a doctor, her name is Yasmin. She has a brother, she has her two parents and she's dating a guy named Joe. But as you're reading the book, again, the quote, he was afraid that the rungs he climbed might be slippery. You know, yes, they're climbing the ladder. Yes, they're pulling themselves up. Yes, they're doing these big things. But what if you slip and fall from the ladder, right? That's why that quote was so important because Yasmin and her brother are English born, but then her parents are from India and they're proud of being from India. So you find all these situations in the book where Yasmin might be embarrassed by her parents, where she might find herself working extra hard because she's brown skinned, where people are thinking that she's a racist or she might be calling someone else a racist. There's all these different things and you're like, yes, they're climbing the ladder. Yes, they're pulling themselves up. Yes, they're doing these big things. But what if you slip and fall from the ladder, right? That's why that quote was so important because that quote really summed up the whole entire book and you have to wait till page 333 to finally hear it. And you're like, this really encompasses all the different situations, all the miscommunications, all the relationships within the book. So to me, that one line just really, I was like, oh, that's it. <laughs> like I could imagine if Monica Ali wrote the book in different sections, maybe that was one of the first chapters that she wrote of the book and then she filled out the other pieces. Cause I'm like, man, that to me, that really locked in the rest of the story, right? So there's one little bonus here. You know, sometimes I give you guys a bonus. And the bonus is that Yasmin goes through a situation where she realizes her parents are married to each other. So let me explain. Yasmin goes through a situation like that where she's like, oh my goodness, my parents are just people. They had lives before they had me. They had lives after me. Holy crap. So Love Marriage is a perfect title for the book because in their culture, with her being Indian, you know, they have a lot of arranged marriages. And Yasmin is always bragging on the fact that her parents had a love marriage. And that's such a big deal for her. And now she gets to have a love marriage. But what does love marriage mean? Right? And so that was really telling. It was really a big part of the story. So really great read. Would I reread it again? Yes. There were a lot of parts of the book where they get into a lot of jargon about being a doctor and I'm like, oh man, over my head. But it really makes sense, right? You get to see how that plays out in a lot of the relationships that Yasmin has. So yes, I absolutely would reread Love Marriage. It, it was a really good read. So thank you for hanging out with me today as we discuss the book, Love Marriage. Please let me know, have you read anything by Monica Ali? I picked this up because the bright colors flashing, I was like, oh wow, what's this about? And I'll be honest, when I saw it, I thought it was love and marriage. As in the song from Married with Children, the old, old sitcom where they say love and marriage, love and marriage. And then I was like, oh, duh, love and marriage. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a baby. Oh, it's called love marriage. <laughs> yes, I've already explained it. I'm extremely naive in picking my books. I don't mind. Flashy cover. Why would you write a great book and put a terrible cover on it? I just don't think that people do that. I, I don't, I, I just don't. <laughs> so it's been fun today. I will see you next time on Kyla's reading day. Bye.